Tuesdays, we get local. Starting at 7.30, it's our local news podcast, Down Ballot. And then we swing over to local love starting at 9 p.m. Tune in early to see what's going on during the day, then stay locked in to find out what's happening in local music and whose bands are hitting the venues for the week. It's a whole night of news and music right in San Jose's backyard, starting at 7.30 p.m. Pacific on twitch.tv slash echoplexmedia. Check out our full schedule at echoplexmedia.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media for beautiful food and inspiration. Welcome to Local Love. That was 20 Motherfuckers by the Wyatt Act. And tonight we've almost had 20 motherfuckers sub to the channel. First off, Mata Cool, thanks for gifting Ooh. out 10 subs during the break between Down Ballot and Local Love. Time for Tinfoil. Thank you for resubbing. That's four months in a row. Also, I like it. I like seeing other uh, content creators on here that are like, I'm going to subscribe to that channel because those, those people are probably our, uh, our um, I don't know. Harshest critics. We also got Law Dog gifting out two subs uh, during Down Ballot tonight. Thanks, everybody. Uh, the more money we make here, like, honestly, the less time I have to spend doing other work and the more money, more time I can spend doing content. So that's like why I should ask for money more often around here. If you're listening on the podcast and you don't know what that is, um, 
on Twitch, people can follow and that's free, but a subscriber is somebody who pays monthly and they get like extra emotes and stuff, but it's mostly just to support the channel. Um, if you are a podcast listener and you're wondering how to support this project via money, you can go to patreon.com slash echoplex. You get some stuff over there, but you're mostly doing that to support this channel via money. There's also a swag shop at echoplexmedia.com slash swag. You get some cool shirts, some fucking pint glasses. Um, I don't know, like a mug. You get all kind of shit. And then if you're cheap, you can just go to our website and use our 24-hour music stream. You know. That is free. Check that, that out. That is free. <laughs> Check that out. Media Wench, I don't, have all, I don't have all the ads on the soundboard yet, but I will uh, endeavor to do that eventually. So you can have your 666 channel points back which is another thing that people on the podcast don't understand. And I'm not going to go through the trouble of explaining that <laughs> because it's just loyalty points that don't mean anything. So uh, I'm producer Dave. You can find me on grinder joining me in the studio. Once again, I'm chip Deville. You can find me usually on Instagram or just smoking weed in public every day is 4:20 for me, but I'm glad that everybody gets to be here on the Eve. Shout out to our East coasters who uh, are already are already deep in celebration. Cheers. How about you, sir? I am Juan Maserati, weatherman, reporting in Florida. Hey, Juan Maserati, could you do us a favor and check your settings? Sure. And make sure that we're getting that that fucking great mic that you bought. Okay, it's it's I'm down to I got it down to uh, nope. twenty nine dB. Juan Maserati, I'm asking again. Can you check your settings in Video Ninja? Oh, okay. And make sure that we're getting that really nice microphone that you bought that you're so proud of. Because uh, it seems to have forgotten once again, and it seems to be it seems to me that we're listening to your uh, laptop microphone. It sounds like you're inside of a uh, like one of those little space capsules. Oh, I know what it is. One second. Let's play a song while that happens. Wait, the problem could be me. Hold on. Oh, the problem's pulse audio. There you go. Try try again. One. Testing one two. Testing Fuck yeah. One, the problem two. was pulse audio. The problem was pulse audio on back. our end. Yeah, Take it, it was. Back. Yeah, the problem is pulse audio on my end. What's up, um, buddy? I just I want to say that first off, uh, I am excited to be here as always. Uh, I want to say shout out to the chat, y'all motherfucking just warm my soul. And now on to the real messaging. My name is Juan Maserati. I am a keyboard player for Rebels Camp and Los Improviders, and I also do double duty. <laughs> For capitalism. So praise God <laughs> and, and glory be. Back to you, Bob. That was fucking that was fucking amazing. Um so I'm just stoked he said double duty. <laughs> we have um we have a lot we have like a big announcement. Well, not a big announcement. We have a show on Thursday we're gonna talk about a little bit when we get back. But I wanna keep I wanna play some more of this. Well, I'm, some more of this. I wanna play some of this unreleased Ruffies because this is the fucking only place you can hear this Ruffies album. Because Patty K came over here, got drunk, and sent me all the files. And so you can't hear them on a 24-hour stream. You can't get them on Bandcamp. You cannot get them on Spotify. Uh, you could probably bug Patty K on like Facebook, and maybe he would like text you a song. I don't know. This is Fuck With Impunity by The Ruffies, and we'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> Fuck with the 
I like how many times that song says fuck. <laughs> because like while he's yelling fuck with impunity, fuck with impunity, the backing vocals are just fuck, 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 yeah. fuck, 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 fuck. That was a fucking <laughs> Echoplex Media exclusive. Legit an Echoplex Media exclusive. <laughs> it was a fucking exclusive. It could be all the way through fucking Halloween for all we know. Oh, I could bring us back on the screen, I suppose. Hey, nice, yes. Woohoo! Oh man, chat room is lively tonight. So if you are tuning in on the podcast, uh, you could tune in live Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. and be a part of all the shenanigans that is chat room. Um, and if you're watching on Facebook Live right now, there's a link everywhere on the Facebook <laughs> Live about how to how to get your. We can get you. We can take you away from that place. All right, we can, <laughs> we can get you out of there. <laughs> Fuck Zuckerberg. Even Juan is tweeting now. We can help you. I believe in the opportunity. Man, I like. Juan, I think slow. Twitter's a good place for Juan. Juan, Juan, I've seen. I've seen some of your like tirades. I think Twitter's a great place. I you know, actually, they're really not tirades. I try, you know, because I know it's like Twitter, and that's been like fully played out these days. So <laughs> what I'm just trying to do is just trying to share information mostly about like bands on occasion Ooh, okay. i will throw some like you know just just my disagreement with certain things but mostly uh, I, for the most I, part, I disagree i me love too, Juan, me too <laughs> i love that i love disagreements but yeah but uh for the most part it's just like trying to support the uh the local music scene uh and just uh you know try to put the vibe of music music love of music music history uh music past present and future and all that you know good shit well, speaking of music, past, present, and future, <laughs> Thursday, this Thursday, <gasps> Dave yes. is actually not going to be streaming because he is going to be taking the stage with me, Three-Headed Dragon, and the Rebels Camp. Fuck yeah. B just real fuck quick, yeah. real quick fucking shout out to uh, Drew. That's Audio Drew audio for, uh, Drew. for uh, just being like, well, if a couple yes. of you are going to play, we're just going to put your branding on this. That's like super nice. Like you didn't have to do any of this. So um, that's great. And I love dealing with Drew because it's like low stress. I haven't even fucking messaged him since we got the flyer. We don't have to worry about anything. Everything's going to be fine. But the sound system <laughs> yes. is going to be slamming. Everything's everything's going to be fine. So this event, this is this Thursday. If you're here in the Bay Area, even if you got to drive from the East Bay, you should think about this one. This is a lot of fun. We got, first of all, we got the Cypher Squad DJs. I believe they're going to be doing the first half hour, just real short open mic like they always do. And then, uh, I don't know, this is just in order of on the flyer. We got the Rebels Camp. We got Three Headed Dragon. We got David Boo, how that's me. We got DJ Casper, which is what uh, Chip used to go by and still yeah, goes by, uh, if anybody remembers that. Yeah, when people remember me as that, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of fun. So this is at uh, this is at Liquid Lounge. That's uh, 32 South 3rd Street, San Jose. You can get there on light rail really easily. And um, I suggest everyone check it out for sure. Yeah. And and the and the venue is pretty swanky. If I so people say, in the chat are asking us to put it on Twitch. The, the Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi in there is just absolutely not the kind of put it on Twitch Wi-Fi. Can I ask a tech question? Because you might be the dude to ask. Um, are you the dude? Are you the dude? Uh, but... Have you seen those like mobile internet things? It's basically just like a mobile hotspot. Are those actually legit? Like, do they actually get you high enough speed if you wanted to do a remote broadcast? Yes, but guess what you have to pay for? The the speed? You have to pay for the device. And then the way they do it is they'll take like four or five 4G connections and bond them together. So guess how many, guess what you got to pay? Four or five, four or 5G bills. Oh, shit. And you're paying for data and you're paying for, you know, gigabytes and gigabytes of data if you're using that. So, yeah. so no, they're not legit. They're, <laughs> they're, no. they're legit. If somehow you manage to get the thing and then free service, sure. Yeah. But otherwise they're not legit. They totally work, but, um, expensive, a better, like way better <clears throat> for everybody is going to be as like fiber rolls out. And some of these venues start having fiber but uh, for this event, I wouldn't bother streaming it because it's like the homies and it's like our first event back. But maybe the second one of these we did, I would think about putting up on Twitch. And yes. if y'all follow, if y'all follow our Twitters and stuff, the, or follow the Media Wench on um, TikTok, she'll be posting videos and stuff from the event. Um, it's, so, but the main reason is for like us to go get drunk and play music together. Pretty much, <laughs> yes. smoke weed in the parking lot, you know. And not, you know, not even the parking lot anymore. We just smoke weed in the back there now. Yeah, I know. That's true. Oh, man. I'm really excited. I'm excited for tonight. I'm excited for Thursday. And uh, 
Yeah, it's going to be a whole lot of whole lot of shenanigans. Speaking of shenanigans. So one of the bands playing there <coughs> <laughs> happens to be Rebels Camp. Yeah. And we got this Rebels Camp song. It's called Sayonara. And we've only played it twice. So now we'll have played it three times. Oops. Thank you. 
looking at the sky. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking excellent. That was so good. Yeah, shit's should tell with trippy. That's off of uh, is that off the kill one? Is that right? That's right. Off, off the mother fucking kill. Off the first one. The first one's definitely the most the most trippy of the three albums, I think. Do you Wait, have a do you have a favorite Rebels Camp album or are you kinda like they're all my babies and I love them equally? <laughs> I think that uh I think the kill is definitely like the top end of it. Just because like uh it was like the uh you just see the genius of, of it all, you know, like in terms of respect to um, the fam and just see the, uh, how it just naturally co- went cohesively together, you know, in that, you know, just going in the studio, hit a record and go. And, and that was kind of like that experience. You'll never get that experience ever again. I can guarantee you that because that's what experience is all about once in a lifetime. And every Rebels Camp, Rebels Camp track that you hear passes along that once in a lifetime moment, hmm. musically. Well, that's pretty rad. The other album, I, I have The Kill, I have uh, Zalians. The other one was um, Intense City. Yes. But the album name isn't there on my shit because my shit is fucked up. Hmm. But that's okay. Um, yeah, I like, um, I like Zalians for a different reason than I like the kill Zalians. I like it because, uh, Maya's bass is very much in the front on Zalians Mm -hmm. and I like how much bass it has. Hell yeah. (laughs) And then the kill, you you hear Maya just fine. He's just not pushed to the front so much and you can hear more of the keys and the synth. So it's like more, more like trippy and like kind of airy whereas the other one's like n- the floor it's more like the floor than it's like the air you know it's balls to the walls with Zaylins for sure and uh with intense city uh, i felt like there was a lot of space that was allowed to be left open for these trippy things to hear you hear each track fuck yeah so any uh any cool surprises that we can maybe hope to see on thursday well, you know, I'll tell you what, like, you know, like I, the only thing I can say is that none of us have, have been in communication. <laughs> <laughs> so none of us really... has, yeah, I mean, I, and it's not like, I mean, we're, I mean, we're, we're obviously like we're text, texting each other, texting each other saying, no, we're excited, but we don't, when it comes to music, we don't, we never discuss anything in terms of what we're going to play or start with or whatever is just right in the fucking moment when the lights go down and everybody's on their their instrument it's just like something magical happens and and as jesse or g g has said before many times over it's it's something that that uh we don't have any control over like it just just and 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 some of it's a, a bit of uh how should i say a, a bit of uh connection with each other right there's a bit of connection there's a bit of like you know because you know we're all on that punk tip that hip-hop tip that motherfucking tip well and then also but, you guys have been playing music together so long i feel like to some degree right when you get back together and start playing music again it's almost instantaneous instantaneous for sure so what i do I, I know i know that uh dan is gone and i know that um dan was just definitely 100 percent like I would just be like, hey, dude, this is my last song. And Dan would just jump on the drums and y'all would just play the fuck out of my last song, like not unlike a fucking boss. And what I'm wondering <laughs> is, how is how is your new drummer? Is your new drummer up to such a thing if the lineup were to arrange itself in such a way? Well, um, I will say this. Let me start with saying that with respect to Dan Gilladoni. That motherfucker is, you know, I play with a lot of drummers in my life. And that guy's like a fucking metronome dude he is like there's it's it's, so rock it's, steady it's 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 like it's not even about like the meter right it's about the feel that he put in parts when you when you hear him play it's like there's that slump there's a slank there's and it's all in time and it just like you know i've never met i've never played with anybody who just 
locked it in like that, you know? I ain't fucking having said that, having said that, you know, um, so his, his legacy is already like solidified in these albums. Boom. There. But respect to, to, to the coming show, we got odd in the house, motherfucking odd. Right. And he is going to, uh, impart his, his, his flow, his energy. And we're looking forward to just like mixing it up like that. You know, I will say this, uh, Odd is um, reported to have said, you know, hey, you know, man, I really am looking forward to this, and he's gonna, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna bring it. He so, said, so I'm gonna like, bring it. So, like, what I was, so would this person be able to, for example, just jump on at the end of a fucking breakbeat song and just play the fuck out of it and let let, let you all do what you do like we've done before in the past? Do you think this is a uh, Absolutely. All right, cool. That was Absolutely. the answer I was looking for. Hooray. Is, want, that, was, that was a fucking thank you. Right thank, you. thank you for answering the question. Yes. In, in, thank you. I'm sorry. Sorry no. for extending <laughs> that's that fucking out. Cool. If if things work out that way, I would be fucking, I would be, I love that shit when there's just no break. There's just no break. And the other thing is that y'all don't sound check over me. Oh my God. Like fucking, Never. I mean, once I'm like, hey, come up and start playing, y'all will play over the end of the song, which is fucking amazing because it just keeps going into the fucking band, which is crazy. But I've definitely been up there where fucking guitarists just started like strumming their guitar while I was playing. And I'm like, thanks, dude. Super, super dude. respectful of the other people on the bill. I love ya. Mm-hmm. you. You know what ya. I love is those sessions. What you what did you call them? Bring on the funk or the funk sessions? Oh, the focus on the funk. This party's sort of like focus. that. Oh, my God. Those were we the two most parties, the one with audible God. and then one with, I think you guys in relapse or something. Both of those were really good. I don't think anybody knows how deep it got with those sessions. Focus on the funk. And like, you know, a producer Dave stated, you know, he gets behind the mix and musicians will just come up and say, you know, I'm, I'm down for this. And next thing you know, uh, focus on the funk sessions. There would be like Dave setting things off. And then we would be all getting into it. Yeah, we had a jam session at the one where I was just laying down beats. That was fun. But uh, that's a lot different than people sound checking over the DJ. Don't sound check over the DJ. <laughs> yes, don't do it. Unless they're already turned down and they're like the DJ that's like in some weird booth that just kind of sits there and uses some fucking contraption from 1997 to like play Barbie Girl, then sound check over that person. <laughs> uh, well, there are limits. So I got two songs queued up here. We're going to go with the first Periscope song that we ever heard and really liked. And that's a meet cute by Periscope. Shout out to Matt Perry and the rest of the band.
song i ever heard and i really liked it yeah it still it still holds up after all this time <laughs> after all this time after all this time since 2018 local love has been coming into your ears that sounded way dirtier than i expected 2016 Tw- fucking <laughs> shit wait really yeah i mean one started that shit in 2016 wow right after the infamous um, madison star moon um valentine's day phone call incident <laughs> <laughs> Oh, classic. Yeah, this show's been coming out to you uh, since 2016. Uh, it took us a while to uh, realize that we need to be doing video. Oh, shit, wait a minute. Um, Nope, it's not 420 yet for the... I thought there was... Somebody, everybody remind us. At f- 10 p.m. Pacific, that's going to be... Oh. It's going to be like midnight mountain or is that... Yeah, central or mountain or whatever. If somebody remind us to like let those people celebrate too because they like... I don't know. They don't even live by the ocean, so we should pay extra attention and be super <laughs> nice. <laughs> Twenty. Yeah, shout out to Matt. Matt's been a good guest uh, here in the studio. A pretty good remote guest as well, especially once we figured out how to make his Macintosh work with um, I don't know, whatever uh, the it's, focus right interface. It was just you had to turn things on in a certain order because those computers are easy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, wrong show. Uh, real quick, we are uh, launching a technology show. Ooh. It'll be me, historian Matt, and uh, HK Perrin. And I can't tell you the name of the show because it's so good. And I can't tell you the name of the show. It's so good. But it's going to be good. The name of the show is so good. <laughs> um, so I have another song queued up here. It's by Kat Robichaux and the Darling Misfits. Oh, this is the elephant song, but as sung by the ringmaster. I don't know what that means, but it's different than the elephant song that we usually play. On the day of the elephant... I looked up to the sky and wondered why I could not see the sunrise. At the risk of intelligence, I opened up my eyes and saw with clarity the consequences. And it ripped a gaping hole in my soul. And it snuffed out all the dreams when I was young. And little girls are told someday the prince will come. That they're entitled to a life that's better with a man just like their dad. In the wake of the aftermath, severed from the womb, I cry a screaming infant, blinking in the light. Oh, how I wish I could take it back like a tacky horror film, back to the moment when I was alive. It's seven sorry years, I'm never getting back. So far along, and yet so far off track. I hate the genius after the fact It's never better in the second act Oh, oh, is there anybody listening or am I truly talking to myself? So typical, oh, oh Isn't everybody wishing they could be somebody better than themselves? Well, if ignorance is bliss Turn your head and make a wish And sing a la 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 your 
applause. I'll never get, I'll never get, never in above. And here we are with a sorry life, wanting more than what we've got. Never living in the present, always up. <laughs> that was the elephant song is sung by the ringmaster that's cat robe show and the darling misfits so she has her signature show uh the misfit cabaret and they are going to be doing shows uh between may 20th through the 28th next month uh you can find it at uh just look up cat robe show if you can't spell her last name it's okay the internet will find a way to spell it right um, but this, this year's theme is going to be summer camp. So it's a camp misfit cabaret and you can get your tickets to summer camp. Uh, or you can donate. Look, look at the, oh, there we go. I was trying to figure that out for, we got this really cool little feature in our chat room. No, it's, it's, yeah, you don't think it, it's, 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 it's it, okay, not like fine. everybody doesn't have that. Well, <laughs> yeah. And if you're listening to the podcast, you just don't get to know what it is. So fuck you. I'm just kidding. I Everybody has that. It's a bot. It does what you tell it. We have robots. Some of the time. It's the future. Some of the time. But if you, yeah, if you're, if you're in <laughs> San Francisco or around San Francisco and you haven't been to a cat rub show event, you should certainly go. It's super cool. Uh, if you can afford it, get together with a couple friends and get the tables up front, but sitting in the theater part is just fine too. You can get a little drunk and smoke a little weed outside. Nobody's going to, nobody's going to bother you there at any, any of her kind of venues. You'll, you'll see a great show. Um, it's like a variety show like a burlesque show um but n not quite so serious maybe as burlesque more like, like theater kids and burlesque it's fun it's a lot of fun it's like what happened to like all the cool theater kids that grew up um they got together and made a completely badass experience of a show they should have patty kago on there and sing like meatloaf songs I'm gonna, or something i'm gonna take him to the next one i'm gonna just be like hey pk we're going you're I, you need to experience this he he would he would be about it Bring his bring his roommate. One of his roommates is wild, and you need to bring <laughs> that him guy is a fucking shenanigan. <laughs> yeah, you need to bring yeah, that guy. I know. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I forget that guy's name, but he just like the first time I met him, he gave me a Chase. video card. It's Chase. Yeah. Yep. No Chase. So I forget. Chase. We were just talking about stuff. We were just talking about like streaming, and I was like, "Oh, not not being able to find video cards sucks." And he's like, "Oh, I have some. Do you want one?" <laughs> I was like what? <laughs> <It's> so random. <laughs> That's awesome. He gave me a fair. He gave me a faster video card than that one I had. So fuck yeah, that's right. Well, <laughs> you don't meet people that just give you computer hardware the first time you meet them. And this guy it wasn't like he was. We were there's computer hardware everywhere. It was just their house. It was a fucking nice place, by I mean, the way. That's a pretty Silicon Valley story. Oh yeah, the that. Oh yeah, I I thought that was an interesting house. Um, but you know, since since you know we are upon the eve of the I guess most reputable weed holiday, if you can even call it that. I don't know. 
I'm maybe I don't know. I mean, you're probably in the same boat as me, where like kind of the the shine is worn off just a little bit. I still love I still love the holiday and everything like that. I don't mean to be like a Grinch, but you know, it's just like I smoke weed every day, like and night. I'll actually and, probably well, it'll be fun tomorrow. HK hasn't smoked weed in such a long time, and I'm gonna get him like <laughs> I'm gonna get him fucking like ninth grade paranoid stone. All like, right, that's pretty dope. <laughs> I gotta say, that's that's exciting. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Mm-hmm. Was watching was watching HK instead of talking over me on the intellectual dollar tree, me just trying to get him to say a single word because he's so fucking stone. That's what I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. That will be fun. Man, well, since uh since that day is upon us, I figure we should uh we should play a few of our of our stonery songs, you know? The fucking first stoner song that we played all the time. All the time, all the time, all the time. That was because that was the second band that ever sent us music. Because Steve <laughs> lived in that room, and it was he was in the band. This is Audible Smoke Signal. This song is called Smoke Kaya. You, you got to start somewhere. <laughs> Smoke, Kaya, smoke, Kaya. You've got to take a hit, man. You've got to. 
It's a smoke high, it's smoke, smoke high, it's a hit man. We got to dig a hit man. Smoke, smoke. What'd you think of that one? You've heard that song a billion times, but mm. it's amazing. Every time I play it, every time I hear it, you've got to take a hit. You've got to take a hit. Mm-hmm. It's preaching the word of 420. So we're getting kind of close to a 420 for people in. What's the next time zone? Is it mountain or central? Mm, ooh, that's a good question. I think it's mountain. I think it's mountain. <laughs> that's where Colorado is. Oh, then that, no, then central oh, would be the one we're looking shit. for. Um, oh. Well, anyway, happy 420, everybody. It's uh, going to be 420 here in two hours and nine minutes. What? Yeah. Yeah, it'll be four twenty here in two hours and nine minutes. I hope everybody's uh got plans for tomorrow. If you smoke and if you don't smoke, then like fucking I don't know. <laughs> buy buy somebody you like some weed. Yeah, I'm I'm very open to people buying me weed. So by all means. Be like I go into the weed store, just all stupid and be like, I would like your best weed. <laughs> just one of them, please. And the store will sell you their best weed. They'll sell you one weed. And, and by the way, Support your local your local drug dealer. Uh, maybe not drug dealer, but at least your local weedsman. We'll call you your your weed person. Yeah. So you like, know, know. don't support local uh if you can. You know. They they need love too. It is a very busy day for for people in that industry. And you know, you don't really need to go and pay extra taxes on shit that you don't really need to pay extra taxes Sharpie on. Sharpie Diesel said that, that they drove to go find their favorite strain. Oh, shit. Well, I've done that, so I, I get, I understand that uh, a dedication. But still, you know, don't forget about the little guys. Having once been one myself. Maybe I'm speaking from personal experience, but you got a grinder? Um, it's somewhere here. I think. Oh, I rolled a joint yesterday here. Hell yeah, you did. So here's another song. It's about weed. It's about beer. It's about a good time. It's Motown by FTB. Well, as a matter of fact, honey, I'm going to get high again. Because that's what you do at a fucking party. You get too high. You get too drunk. You stay too fucking long. That's why they call it a party. <laughs> Cause FTV came to party all night long I got a little song that I came to sing But I ain't talking nothing serious Tonight's a fling It's a one night stand Musically speaking A good steady but it's try to avoid peaking The heights you're reaching You're bound to come down That's why when I fly bro It's level to the ground Making that sound that you might want to hear And before we proceed Let's get this clear I'ma do my thing without regret or fear Once in a while I might drink a beer A good steady course you must steer And then set a solid goal And try not to fear Anyway, I'm getting way too serious This here song it sounds like some silly shit Back to the drinking in the party again With an audible smoke or fuck the band We came to rock that shit won't stop The rhymes we drop and a race against the clock And your eyes go beer And my blood is kind All my friends are here Let's all have a good eyes go beer And my blood is kind All my friends are here Let's all have a good eyes Staying on time, Sonic got some eyes, to press and gate at 45 watts of solid state. Got tubes and phases, keys and cords, amps and plugs and mixing boards, headsets, mics, monitor mixes, bedroom plates and duct tape fixes, overhead kit from prima donna, buckets of beer and marijuana, whammy bar, distortion pedal, slow the fuck down, there's too much metal, cords and rollins, fender strikes, got hot, hot loose, got cool, cool cats, all this equipment don't make the band, you better have more talent than a beat.
making me proud when you live out loud So all my people in the place Put a drink in your face Put a blunt in your grill Girl in your lap Nod your head to my song e rap Cause this right here is feel good music And a lot of motherfuckers don't know how to use it Use it right, it can be therapeutic by me, myself, I did not I like the party I like the party almost 420 to those of you in and around chicago fuck yeah other cities that might be in that central time zone are i don't know i would have to look at a fucking map i'm really geographically challenged if i'm being honest 420 is coming it is all over our faces um i actually rolled this uh this blunt sized Ooh. joint uh and i'm really excited for that um as i'm excited for all of my joints births and deaths um but i'm especially excited for this one because it's from right now it's so from like the to, now space i'd like to wish in two minutes we got fargo bismarck those are north dakota we also got saint paul at 420 <laughs> if you're in uh dodge city kansas uh, oklahoma city at all of texas all of texas uh fucking new orleans that's nola pensacola florida maybe birmingham nashville chattanooga bowling green evansville all these people happy 420 to all of you and all of these Atlanta. motherfucking places. Hotlanta is on the East Coast. Oh. It's uh 1 a.m. on 4. It's still 420 right. for them though. Oh, cool. Do you have any newscaster background music we can play as we uh announce the uh, time signatures around? We used to have that shit, but I don't I don't have that shit anymore. Okay. <laughs> we uh well, back to you. Back to you. Back but I'm the one talking. Yeah. I was but I was doing like the um it's like the weather report except is it 420 in your area yet? <laughs> It'll be 420 in exactly one minute in the central time zone. Welcome everybody in the central time zone. And to all of the Australians out there, it's been 420 all motherfucking day yeah. for you. So good evening. Good morrow. It's it's definitely evening. Tomorrow evening there in Australia. And that Your song, future. If Tomorrow Never Comes, well, you just call an Aussie and they'll tell you it's coming. That's always good. I, I like having that uh, security of knowing tomorrow will be there eventually. We're going to keep the fucking stony ass music going here mm -hmm. i don't know if this song particularly mentions um weed but it's called gangsta and it's by the dangerous and it's probably about weed <laughs> wait, oh, that's, wait. <laughs> that's content. hold on nope we can try wait. this again so this song is definitely about weed this is uh <laughs> dirtbag dan this is concentrate <laughs> featuring able abilities yeah nailed it Four away, you know what I'm talking about. Still smoking on Concentrate Shit a motherfucker couldn't contemplate uh -huh. Where I come from, that's commonplace Where y'all from, y'all copping uh -huh. Get a gram of the wax Oil for the pen Cold water hash I'm a businessman We getting cold, huh? Concentrate 
Take a dab and relax. OG Kush got a couple of packs. Turn it to wax, ain't no fucking with that. No fucking That's a wrap. Ain't nobody here need a pack of them raps. BHO packed that in a pen. Hit the glass globe and we at it again. Uh, got it looking like crack. Cabin in the mountains where we blast in the back. Got the power five in the glass two pack. About to let a couple cans pass through that. Dirt bag when they ask who that. Got the honeycomb by the zone, true that. Yup, watch the Pyrex bubble up. If it come out light, we might just double up. Double up and make twice the cake. You can find me in the kitchen like I like to bake. I got Girl Scout cookie shattered by the OZ. If you like the peanut butter, try the OG. We can make it into whatever we have to. Shatter on a platter, honeycomb in the vacuum. Yup. It may take a couple tries for me, but when I'm finished, they gon' sell at 55 a G, and that's retail. Club prices. You could look around, ain't nothing like this. Smelling just like the flowers do When one hit just might overpower you I'm talking panic attack, it got the power to Make a grown man look like a coward dude You better pace yourself if you dab with me I had you feeling like you smoked a whole half a pee This ain't tree, it's that Shit a motherfucker couldn't contemplate Where I come from, that's commonplace Where y'all from, y'all copping, hey Huh. Get a gram of the wax, oil for the pen, cold water hash from a businessman. We getting cold hard cash. Still smoking on. Shit, 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 shit a motherfucker couldn't contemplate. Where I come from, that's commonplace. Where y'all from, y'all copping. Hey. Huh. Get a gram of the wax, oil for the pen, cold water hash from a businessman. We getting cold hard cash. Nails lit, gentlemen. Dab away. Dippers on and re-up All of the homies, they can't get enough Stuck to the couch after taking a puff Breaking it up If this shit crumbles, we making a buck Drop a few crumbles on top of the skillet Close up the cap, hit the button and kill it Fuck it, I'm lit Give me your trim and I'm running it quick This shit is gold, ain't no fun in a zip If you want it, you buy it, you son of a bitch We stay vaped out Ran a 10 pack so we caked out Tell us fire when you're purging it Made a few stacks so we splurged a bit Take a perfect hit If the flower ain't fresh, it ain't worth the shit But it's all grown out here Ask JC, we getting blown out here At the park, we roll the cone out here You don't wanna hear the price of a zone out here You can get a big bag for real cheap But I'ma have to take a big dab to feel free Still smoking on Shit a motherfucker couldn't contemplate Where I come from, that's commonplace Where y'all from, y'all copping, hey Get a gram of the wax, oil for the pen Cold water hash from a businessman, we getting cold hard Still smoking on Shit a motherfucker couldn't contemplate Where I come from, that's commonplace Where y'all from, y'all copping, hey Get a gram of the wax, oil for the pen, cold water hash from a businessman. We can go on. good in here <laughs> yeah. back to local love that was a dirtbag dan concentrate featuring able abilities i believe able abilities was probably up on the production oh no able abilities one. was the other dude the the dude doing the get a gram and relax oh well for the pen cold water hash oh yeah man. yeah i used to work with that dude at a car wash when i was younger i i like yeah it's crazy like it was weird because I had known Dan from like shows, but like we didn't know each other like that personally yet. I knew his DJ. And then once uh, it was figured out that me and Abel knew each other, it was like weird. It kind of helped pull all the bond tighter. And it's kind of cool. Good dude. I've lived in Campbell way too long. I'm starting <laughs> to feel the same way. And I've only lived here like 11 <laughs> years now. 
Oh, man. Somebody on Twitter was like, hey, it's giving out the city you're in and all of your tweets. And I'm like, somebody could just come on my Twitch channel and find out where I live like, kind of quickly. <laughs> like, name a bunch of places. We have one area code or one zip code for this entire city. It's not hard to find people. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's very small, but it's like, the, it's like dense. It's like dense, almost as dense as the densest part of San Jose. Yeah. A lot of apartments and shit here. We've got a high thread count. We've got a high thread count. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people, people over, uh, people over on like Dry Creek Road certainly <laughs> do. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Man. So, uh, so, so other than, uh, getting HK. Ridiculously litty tomorrow. Uh, any other fun plans? I don't know. I'm no. I mean, I'm just gonna like do my day. I have like shit to do tomorrow. <laughs> like, it turns out that the post office and shit isn't closed on four twenty. Well, that's good. Yeah, you're just gonna go to work too, right? You too, Juan. Yeah, I get high before work though. <laughs> but I mean, I do that every day. So yeah, it makes me a, it makes me a much better. Uh, much, much better equipped to to deal with your average customer. Uh, Enter Shadow <coughs> One Eleven came in here. The first thing they did was just gave out my zip code. Hey, the first chat they ever <laughs> made. It was like here, here, here's Dave's zip code. Everybody. <laughs> oh man, fucking. Uh, oh, that's that's funny. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the chat. I don't know if you're from the Bay or you just looked up the zip code. Oh, you you're you're in Campbell too. Hey, I mean, that's either that's either great or good or, for you, or, or we're sorry, to, or we're, to, or, we're or it's time <laughs> to like lock the doors and close the windows because the thing my mother was afraid of is finally happening. <laughs> Somebody's coming for me. All right, <laughs> the reason there's cameras all up in my apartment. <laughs> so in case you get no, murdered they're, by they're, an angry, yeah, they're like, I actually don't live in Campbell. I'm just in your zip code right I'm now. I'm in your zip code, Dave. <laughs> Mm. That one thing you said in 2019. <laughs> you remember that, was, that thing? <laughs> I took that very personally, and I'm coming for you. <laughs> Bennett said me. Oh goodness. Um, let's see. Wait, who's in the zero 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 zero? I want that to be my zip code. That's probably where like where uh, where America was started or something. <laughs> started America in the zero zero zero. Uh, that, that makes sense. Fuck yeah. Like Pennsylvania or something oh, like that. It's like, or maybe it's a zero 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 one. I'm gonna cry. That's really the area patriotic. code is one. Just the number one because we're the first. So <laughs> my friend Andrea, like when like weird dudes would hit on her at raves, right? They'd be like hitting on her, and they'd be like, "Oh, can I get your number?" And she'd be like, "Yeah," and they'd be like, "What's your number?" And she'd be like, three. <laughs> If she got fancy, she'd be like 12 and a half. <laughs> like, yeah. she'd just give a number. They'd be fucking befuddled and they'd leave my friend Andrea alone. That's pretty cool. That was back when you needed to get someone's number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's your number so I can actually call you? <laughs> right. If I ran into somebody in like at a bar or a club or whatever and was like, oh, I'd like to get to know this person or whatever, I'd be like, do you have Discord? <laughs> and if they don't have Discord, I'd be like, well, then maybe I don't really need to get to know you anyway. I was hanging out with I was hanging out with a buddy of mine who we my I got a buddy who's in town from Florida. Ooh, cue up a song with type in AEX and just see what comes up. But a buddy of mine is in town. He used to live out here in the Bay Area and he uh he's he's visiting from Florida. And so we were all going out to bars. It's a random night and then amongst themselves are like, "Oh, hit up this guy. Oh, he never answers the phone. Oh, don't worry." Hit him on Discord. He'll answer there. That's fucking. Somebody the thing. actually said that, and I thought of you. That's exactly wow. right. Like you could, uh, if you text me, uh, actually during the day, like this texts is... will put like make a noise from my phone. So you better really want to get a hold of me <laughs> and make my phone make a noise and annoy me. But yeah, if you want to get a hold of me, hit me up on Discord. My parents know that shit too. <laughs> it's just a just just don't call me on Discord. It's not a phone call. Just be like, hey. <laughs> Chip doesn't even use Discord. He's not even. He's like I, I can't remember my password or which email I used for my account. I'm pretty sure there's like three Chip Devils on Discord, and they're all me. Uh, I'm telling you, man, you're a dude in a need of a password manager. I do, I do. But uh, this song, it's very, very short, and and it goes out to my buddy Alex, aka Aches Destroy. It is his birthday, and and we were smoking a lot of weed when this song was made. So I thought it would just be appropriate. This is 
saying because i haven't said it yet it's like the retraction theme song practically <laughs> we haven't we're not going to issue another retraction for a while uh we stand by everything we've ever said here fuck yeah we do <laughs> i'm gonna leave you two to talk while i go uh, pour another drink. i'm so curious who ender shadow is ender shadow one 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 ender shadow please come forth ender shadow ender shadow please come forth oh shit and pimpy the dolphin is in the chat room what's cracking pimpy Splash, what? splash. I was Pimpy. taking a bath. I'm going to take Dave's mic. Watch this. Pimpy the Dolphin. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Love and Love and Pimpy the Dolphin. Yeah. Pimpy the um, Dolphin. Out here pimping them little fishes. Man, we got a whole stoner crew in our chat room. And it is it is brilliant and lovely and fantastic. Um. <laughs> Glorious, uh, glorious. So, for all you guys that are just joining the chat right now, keep in mind, don't forget, this Thursday, Local Love yes. is doing a takeover at the Cypher at Liquid Lounge yes. on 3rd and Santa Clara in San Jose. The Rebels Camp's going to be there. Three-Headed Dragon's going to be there. Producer Dave, a.k.a. David Buhau, and me, Chip DeVille, a.k.a. Casper. Do we have any uh, three-headed dragon music on, on file? No, they're we're not cool enough for them. Um, I'll I'll bug them about it. I've I've definitely told them about the show. Um, oh, we can. I don't know. They'll Mike make Ripley friends with them. YDMC. They have no choice but to make friends with us at the show, right? Like <laughs> like on Thursday. Like if they're not friends with us by the end of the show, then either we suck or they suck or everyone sucks. In that case, I demand another Chip Deville track with Juan Maserati. Ooh, oh shit, I remember, oh man, we were smoking a lot of weed during that one too. Oh dude, we were like, Wait a minute, how do oh, I, uh, let's see, let's see. I might not have it. <gasps> no, no, it's, it's there, it's gonna be. What's the name of it? Oh no. I don't have it. I'm gonna have to go through my emails and find it. Oh no. Yeah, but I don't yeah. have that, hold on. In that make case, a change, it's something like, make a change. The name of the song, make about, a change. Uh, change, I think. Make a change, okay. Is it there? Is it there? No. No. Bummer. So I got this song already <laughs> queued up. It's a gangsta okay. by the da by the dangerous. This one's great. And yes. it, it sounds like it should be about weed.
everybody that was gangsta. I knew it was about weed at the be- like very beginning. They were talking about weed. Yeah, wait. <laughs> oh, your pimpy, your pimpy's roommate, pimpy. Thank you for fucking pimping our show to your roommate. Oh yeah. Also, if you live in this zip code and you're not a sub to our channel, your new name is Skimpy the Dolphin. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> you got five bucks. Come on, sub to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks for joining. It's cool that local people are here. I just thought that Skimpy the Dolphin was like a fun play on words. I actually don't need your fucking money, but um, Chip, you met Pimpy the Dolphin at a bar. So yeah, our origin story all started, (laughs) all started with just going to smoke weed in a parking lot, and 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 it and it flourished into a beautiful friendship. And (laughs) and it took like it took like about two or three weeks of him being in the chat for for him to finally like came up. He's like. Dude, I'm Pimpy the Dolphin. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like out in the real world? <laughs> yeah. Like, he like, like it's, he it's, revealed his identity to me. It's, it's the now space and the real world fucking colliding. <laughs> I've seen wow. Skimpy the Dolphin. I'm sorry, Pimpy the Dolphin in, in my chat on other nights too, just kind of <laughs> hanging out and watching what's going on. If if you think Skimpy the Dolphin, Pimpy the Dolphin, I'm sorry, isn't going to like, isn't going to case the place to fucking steal a bunch of shit. Skimpy the Dolphin, Pimpy the Dolphin, sorry, is uh, welcome to come hang out, like sit in no, a he's, he's, he's like, he's a real one. He's awesome. I love that guy. Man. Dude, I'm, I'm well, I'm glad that, uh, that we're getting more locals to listen to local but music. But just people that met you at a bar and think you're cool. Actually, that's our marketing strategy. That's kind of, that's kind of how we for if, promoting if, the show. So for if, if somebody years. sends us like $65 right now, we can send Chip out on like a Thursday, like not this Thursday, but the following Thursday to make friends and try to get them to watch the show. Yeah. And I feel like every time we send Chip out to make friends, we'll get one person in their roommate. I'll bring the recorder. I'll go out and like do like people on the street, drunk people on the street quizzes, and we'll just bring the audio back on Tuesday nights. That'd be fun. That would be sick. Like, that's like the most inefficient promotion strategy ever. But it if it would gets us, work. if it gets us one person, <laughs> oh shit! Ender Shadow subscribed at tiered one. Now we got to get a Skimpy the Dolphin. No Ender Shadow, <laughs> thank you. You can spend your money anywhere. Thank you for spending it here. We appreciate it. Did yes! you follow? The, did I you did. follow the channel? Wait. Ender Shadow might still be trying to come kill me. I don't know. <laughs> that is like a very sinister name, but I kind of think it's Ender Shadow. No, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I also, I mean, you got Tom Cruise hugging David Miscavige. <laughs> if you don't know who David Miscavige is, tune in a week from Thursday. Uh, oh, uh, P- Skimpy the Pimpy the Dolphin and Ender Shadow are coming to our event on Thursday. It's going to be at uh, Liquid Lounge. All three of us oh, are shit. playing. Juan's band's playing. Chip's DJing. I'm DJing gonna be a good old time you, you all should come out all right i i'm now a sub too i didn't realize it wasn't a subscriber did, i'm the worst i work here and you, i'm not a subscriber you didn't sub. <laughs> failure wait i'm all set your purchase was successful i didn't wait see. where is it there it is wait oh yeah hooray i just earned a subscription badge see all the fun you can get Dude, we by get tuning a, into the live show you didn't even podcast get a tom- listeners. Listen, listen to dave just siphoning money from the people that are just like in the community i mean i i do contribute like vodka and energy drinks to the studio as well sometimes and we- <laughs> that's weird you didn't show up on the list oh it's showing me on my screen i believe you it's, it's coming. It's coming. Remember on Ghostbusters of that commercial, they're like, "We're ready to believe you." <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Do we got any this is, other? This like, is a community community effort at local love. It is community. I mean, we're gonna have to start thinking come. about like ending the podcast part of this and going into the post game. That's true, but everybody loves the post game. Um. Oh, smoke of the season by the Ruffies. Fuck yeah. This is Smoke of the Season. Yep, the Smoke of the Season by the Ruffies. Uh, we're going to come back. We'll close out the podcast, but live listeners, don't go anywhere. We're just going to guilt trip you for not giving us money for another two or three hours. It'll be fine. Not whining the reasoning time when the prison sing bright and the legion will keep our economy thriving a piece of things coming a summer of bumbling industry building us back up from nothing they're starving or dying and it's making me laugh these are the devil like gold men and sacks have us kissing the dirt with the bills on our backs 
So why is a liar like a writing desk? And the words on your back left something on my chest. Thanks to the cameras, I feel like folks. It's a wonder how wonderful suffering looks. So show me the money, show me the war. If you show me a deal, then I'll come back for more. Working for water like living for bread. What good is a life to a world that's dead? That is a Ruffies song that you can find, actually. You can just uh, go to the the Ruffies, just search for the Ruffies, San Jose punk band. You can find that Ruffies song. Ruffies Rock. I think it's their website, the theruffiesrock.com. Or Ruffies. Shit. Yeah. You can follow them on Instagram under the same <laughs> moniker. Them. On MySpace. Dude, let's bring it back. Fuck it. Mm. It doesn't really work. I know, but. People It'd just be one more password for me to forget anyway. So Chip is now a sub to his own channel. That means he's like paying to be here, which is like what I would expect from everyone. Actually. <laughs> like, man, remember when I was just an intern? <laughs> so. Oh, whoa. Pimpy the Dolphin is no longer Skimpy the Dolphin. Hey. Ender Shadow uh, gifted a uh, fucking sub to Pimpy the Dolphin. Thank you, Ender That's Shadow. That's friendship. That's real friendship right there. <laughs> He's like, I'm adding it to your utility bill. <laughs> Fuck it. Chip, you want to read this show out? You. Yes, you have been listening to Local Love, which is a weekly communal radio style podcast. It is now, didn't you say, now... We are the first one that pops up when you look at any podcatcher and you type in local love, we come up first. So we're doing yes! something right. Uh, you can be a part of the show. You can join the chat room. You can call the show at 415-903-PLEX if we ever answer the phone. I, I don't even know. Um, like, yeah, nobody, other, other, there are other ways. Nobody calls us. Uh, you could do the Discord <laughs> thing. You could, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could do the Facebook thing or the Instagram thing. But if you wanted to like message us on Facebook, like one of us would see it tomorrow. 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 But that's also like if you posted something on Facebook, people wouldn't see it for like three days. So, you know, it, it works. If you post something on Facebook <laughs> about something happening Thursday, all your friends will see it Friday and be like, oh, that sucks that I missed this. Yeah, too bad <laughs> I didn't see it sooner. Thanks, Zuckerberg. Anyway, I am, I am 
getting getting a no, way it's my fault anyways <laughs> every tuesday 9 p.m till about 10 30 uh we do this show if you know anybody that makes music if you make music yourself even if you used to make music but you are from the greater bay area please send it in all the information that you need is at echoplexmedia.com and you can also enjoy all of the music that you heard tonight and more by going to our 24-hour stream at eplex.xyz or echoplexmedia.com slash radio if you like to type extra letters unnecessarily. But uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for tuning in. Share the stream, share the podcast, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Uh, live listeners, don't go, don't go anywhere. 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 We're going stay, to the- stay with us. Live listeners, we will see you on the flip side. Dude, somebody from Japan just got here. That's just Kikyo. It's like 421 in Japan. Yeah, it's, no, it's 420 there. Kikyo, I don't know. what. What's? We're big in Japan. Uh, we'll see everybody next week <laughs> local for Local Love, love Live listeners. Don't go anywhere. Periscope, boomers. Boomer.